Biggie not conformed to this world, but Biggie transformed by the renewing of your mind. My story is similar to that of uh, Jonah's, you know. Uh, he had a specific mission that God wanted him to do. And uh, he ran, you know, he ran the opposite direction and God had to sit him still, you know, in the belly of the big fish, you know. And that was the same thing with me, you know. Um, except mine was, my big fish was the jail. God spoke to me as clear as day and said, it's time, you know. And um, that's when I came out and I've been running for God full-fledged, you know. Terrell is my second son out of five boys, and he is very, very happy all the time. And when he got saved, you know, it was very exciting. I was I always praying that all of my children would be saved, and he's the first one that gave his life to the Lord. Being born and raised in the church is crazy because, you know, I had the truth in me, and I knew, you know, how to react and how to be and how to be better and not chase after those, you know, simple things, but, you know, when life speeds up like that, from a country boy to a city boy, <laughs> it's just a total different ball game. And so, uh, but that's what ultimately led me up to this point is, you know, serving God and just, you know, getting back in there, uh, back in the church full time and just really, really giving God my all. J-boy like this. I'm a J-boy, a Jesus Christ representative. Okay. The flow so cold like a river in the winter. Ooh. I see snakes in the water, homie, why y'all trying to hinder? We fishing for these souls, it's our number one agenda. Okay. J-boys, we on the shame and sold out for the Lord's name. J-boys, we on the scene, all spirit clean like mystery. J-boys, we in the race, no paper chase, just keep the faith. J-boys, we keep it hot, we never stop, we in the spot, yeah. A J-boy. <laughs> He is someone who's unashamed to serve Jesus Christ. Someone who will go out in public and let everybody around him know, hey man, I serve God. I serve Jesus Christ. I'm saved, I'm on fire, I'm unashamed, I'm not scared. A J-boy is the status, you know, that's who you are, you know. I'm a Jesus boy. <laughs> Terrell has always been a clown. Even in high school, the teachers would call me. From climbing trees to uh, running down the street, uh, you know, on top of a go-kart. He was the one that, you know, if you say something, he'd be like, oh, I can do it, you know, I, I can do it, and he would go try. Um, it was a normal day, a Sunday after church. We had a pool in the backyard, and uh, one of my good friends came over, and uh, he, I was sitting out, you know, sitting in their house watching television. He's like, hey, man, let's, let's go out in the backyard in the pool, and. And I'm like, all right, fine, you know, and I'm kind of a show out, so <laughs> I actually put the pool right next to the fence for that specific reason, because I wanted to jump over the fence into the pool, and uh, and finally I had an audience, <laughs> and so <laughs> when I got the audience, uh, uh, I'm like, okay, it's time to perform this daredevilish stunt, you know, <laughs> and I did, and was not expecting uh, that type of outcome, you know, um, I was not expecting to break my neck in two places, and um, even after it happened, I didn't even know that my my neck was broken. I'm still trying to move. You know, I was on the ground, you know, uh, and I'm like, man, just take me in the house and, you know, let me get my head together. You know, um, when I hit the water, my body actually locked up, you know, uh, my nerves uh, system had shut down and I couldn't move. And if it wasn't for uh, one of my good friends, they pulled me out of the pool and I got rushed to the hospital and, um, you know, I've been recovering ever since, but I'm back to full health, you know, and God is good. That accident made him more closer to God. It made him see God working his life more, to know that God is a miracle worker because he really worked a miracle in his life. Listen. Uh, a hard head never listened, cost my family money. Showing off, jumped the fence, and it wasn't funny. Superman in the air, acting like a dummy. Satan want my life, he tried to take it from me. Now my family gotta pay for a broke neck. Lost a government job, yeah, a nice check. But the wife got my back, she ain't left yet. She see the greatness in me, people ain't seen yet. You know, a lot of people won't put their flaws out there like that. You know, a lot of people won't, won't tell nobody, you know, the things that they do wrong, especially uh, rappers, you know. And so uh, to be able to let people know the real me, hey man, I'm, you know, I struggle just like you do, you know, getting my life together as well. So, and I really wanted people to know that, you know, and that's why I wrote that song. Devil, if you want me, you better Come and Get Me is about not just rolling over, you know, a, a Christian who will stand up and fight, you know, fight the enemy, not letting your trials and everything that, that, that the enemy may bring to you overtake you, you know, a good soldier will endure until the end, 
you know, someone who's going to fight back, you know, and, and, and letting Satan know that, hey, dude, you know, I'm not just about to roll over, you know, if you want me, come get me, you know, but I'm going to make it hard for you. I got God on my side. <laughs>